press to grab onto it. You'll do you'll start all the way from the bottom, go all the way to the top. Don't go until you stop. Keep the tension on the muscle. Don't go all the way down until it's slack. Keep that tension on there. You just do as many as you can, nice and slow. Keep the fatigue. It's not about getting up fast or going down fast. You want to do it nice and slow and controlled. So you'll do that first set all the way up and down. Take a 30 second break and then you'll pop back on there and you'll start from halfway to up. Halfway to up. Halfway to up to fatigue. And take another minute break. And you can do that two or three sets. Okay, so this is a stretch, okay. Yeah, this is a stretch. This band might be a little bit too tight. Oh. Okay. So on that stretch exercise, if your palms are up, they're straight in front of you, you're going to grab a band. Hold it tight. Okay. So you're holding it tight, and you're going to bring it in front of your face all the way out to the side, and nice and slow. And you're just going to do that until you, you know, two or three, two sets, maybe three sets to warm up, and then when you're done with your complete, all of your exercise, you're going to grab this band, and you're going to do that, this stretch, and hold it, and just keep the tension on there. You don't want it slack. You want to keep the tension on there. You should do that. So that's going to help loosen all this stuff. And strengthen it and just keep you keep you after that. On this one, you don't want the arms behind you. You want them kind of slightly in front of you. So basically, you're going to be going through this plane through here, from top to bottom. So when you get to the top, you go forward down like that, and then you'll go to the side, bring it down, and you'll bring them up like this, back to the side, up and around, out, and about the side down. And you just basically just take your time. Do that until, you know, fatigue maybe. Take a 30 second break, do it again. And then do that two or three times. Uh, another exercise I like to do is. There we go. So you'll have the res resistance band here. You'll pull it like this and you'll take a little step and keep that tension on there. And then back over. Then you'll pull it and then you'll step with it. So that's going to tighten all this through here. So you'll do that until fatigue. You'll do it on both sides. You'll pull it out, step, go back in, loosen it, so on. Okay. On your biceps, this would be after you do your chin up. You do one side at a time. So you'll bring it all the way up, not to a wrist, like not, well, I mean, you'll have to do one, you'll have to do one side at a time. So you'll do until fatigue. But you'll do it nice and slow. You'll go up slow and down slow. You don't want to be like up quick, down quick. You want to keep that tension on the muscle. That's time under tension. So you'll do that until fatigue. Take a minute break. You'll do that maybe two or three sets. Step exercise. Okay, so on this one, you're going to turn your arms like this. Your palms are going to be facing up. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this up and keep tension on it. You want up and to relax. You want to keep tension on there. So you go to this side you go half, down, pull, and hold it there, and then you go to the next side, half, down, pull, hold it there, keep the tension on there, and you just keep doing half, pull, hold it there, and, th and just keep alternating that until you're fatigued out, and then take a break and do that two or three sets. Okay. Really straight up, you want to have a, an angle there, and the reason you want the angle for your bicep workout is so that your arms kind of hang back behind you like this. Okay? Like this. You're gonna do one arm at a time, so you'll bring it, bring it up, not to to a relaxing position. Keep the tension on there and go down. But you're gonna do both sides at once. So you'll come up, keep the tension on there, go down, and keep the tension on. Bring that back up, back down, keep the tension on. And you wanna go nice and slow. It's not about heavy weight because if you're doing a light weight, like a moderate weight that's not super light but medium heavy, and do it nice and slow, you're gonna you're gonna build muscle a lot quicker. Instead of straining them. Right. And that will protect your joints. So this is like a compound shoulder bicep. So you'll keep the tension on your arms. You pull them up here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of just slowly rotate up. And go up like that and back down. And then you'll go back into the bicep. Keep the tension on there. Back up. Rotate. Kind of push up. You don't want to go all the way up. You want to just keep... Keep it kind of tight yeah. here and loose because I have a tendency when I go all the way up, it's going to pop stuff through here and it's going to hurt. You don't want that. So we're just working on strengthening and then go back down. So do that two or three different. All right, so continuing with the shoulder stuff. Um, so 
So you're going to hold it just like this. You're going to go up like this. 10 pounds is just enough. This is exactly the weight I do. But you can lower yours. So one goes forward, one goes to the side. Just like this. Nice and slow and controlled. And so it's good to you. You'll do that two or three different sets. And then after that, you'll take a break for a little bit. And you'll go a little bit heavier in weight. So you'll have the dumbbells right here. Kind of rest them on the top of your legs. And you'll kind of just pick them up like this and shove them over your shoulders and then down. So, I mean, I don't have any weight up here, but once you have more weight on there, it's a little bit. You'll be using your back to kind of launch them up and then back down. Okay. So you do that two or three different times. And okay. then that's, you're done with shoulders. That's all you need to do with shoulders. You want to have something to start to you about this high. You want your back to be curved the opposite direction. You don't want it to be arched over, otherwise that's going to pull stuff. So you want your back perfectly arched back before you even pick up the weight. Mm -hmm. so your back is arched, you got it like this. You just go up straight, a little bit behind. You don't want to get parallel, you want to go a little bit more by the back. Keep that arch there, go back down, and back up. And just do it nice and slow. Okay, this is, I would start with this very light and easy for a couple, several weeks. So you don't strain your back. And then slowly build up press, you're going to get a huge advantage of having dumbbells instead of a bar. A bar fixes you in a position that you can't go wider if you need to, or shallower. So your body can be in the range it wants to be. So on this, you want to make sure you don't need them parallel like this, kind of at an angle that's your natural position. And you're going to keep tension on it. So you're going to come down slow. Your arms are going to get parallel with your side of your body. And you're going to be at a 45. So you're not going to be all the way up here. You're going to have at this 45 degree angle, and then straight back up. You don't not lock it out, keep that tension on there. Do it nice and slow. Just do that until you fatigue. Take maybe a minute, minute and a half break in between each set. And okay. This is the exercise you're gonna to want to do at the last bicep exercise, and you're only gonna do two sets of this, of eight. So if you can get eight of each one of these movements, two sets of it, you'll be that's where you need to stop. So First, you're going to take this weight and you're going to go sideways like this, palm facing up. You're going to do that on both sides, so palm facing up. Then, you're going to rotate your hand and you're going to go up like this, palm facing down. Okay? Palm facing down. Then, for the further thing, you're going to take your bicep up and you're going to kind of turn it out like that. You're going to turn it out again. So then you're going to go back to the beginning, palm facing up. Palm facing down, and then you're gonna pick it up and curl it kind of out away from your body. So, so that'll be inner out, out, inner center outer bicep, that kind of thing. Yeah, basically. Okay. And you can also do trifecta with a resistance band. But obviously, this one's really loose. So both at the same time. So palm up, palm down, and then just curl out. You'll kind of feel like a pinch, and that'll pop out like that. Yeah, so, so, just, eight so just step on the bands. Yeah, so you'll do each movement eight times. Okay. Then you'll take a couple minute break, and you can do a second set, but never more than two sets, because it's really fatiguing. It's going to light your forearm up. Cool. So that's it on that one. Yeah. Uh, it's like Jeff, oh, Jeff Cavalier has this, I think it's called seven minute tricep workout. So you'll do two two motions and two fatigue, and you'll take a minute, 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 maybe a minute and a half break before you do another two sets. So it's two sets of three things, so it's six things total. So, first one, you lay down, and you'll just take these dumbbells, and you'll just kind of just push them up like this, until fatigue, and then you immediately go like this, put them back to the top, go back like this, and do this motion until fatigue, and you'll take your minute and a half break, and then you'll take your dumbbells, and you'll hold them just like this, you'll do this motion until fatigue. Then, you'll take the dumbbells and go like this, and you'll kind of use them as a push-up thing. You want to keep your your body at pretty, just pretty much parallel straight above, and you'll just kind of go down, keep tension on your arms, don't lock them out, and just do that until fatigue. Then you'll take a minute and a half break, and then the last thing, set of two things you do is, you can stand up if you want, you kind of just arch over, lock your elbows next to your side parallel, Take them back, and you want to keep the tension on here. You don't want this just to flow here and get easy. You want to keep that tension on there, 
And if you have to, you can bring your arms a little bit back further. And just do that until fatigue. And the last thing is, you might have to do it like on a bench machine because your butt can't get low enough. But basically, you could just do dips on this with your feet up. Dips. But, you know, oh, I know I do dips. Dips yeah. until fatigue. And that's the seven minute tricep workout. So you don't repeat any of them, you just do each mm -hmm. one of them. And that's your whole tricep workout for that entire day. Oh wow. Some alternate exercises you can do instead of the seven minute triceps is that you can just do dips. A lot of dips until fatigue. You can just do, if you wanted to, just do kickbacks and then dips on the chair. I do have a... Or you can also lay your bench flat. This is called basically a close grip. You want your hands facing this direction. You don't want to be out to the side. You want to keep them straight above you. And you're basically just going to bring them down almost like your, your triceps are going to get parallel with your body and you're just going to go back up and keep the tension on. So you're not going all the way up and locking it out. You're keeping that tension on there. And just do that until fatigue two or three sets. That's called close grip. So that's going to hit the back of the triceps.